Right, we are back here with our friends at from Chesapeake Bay Academy to talk about something called executive function and how it relates to your cognitive processes. You know those folks who are just very organized and it comes very naturally to them and then there are those folks who really seem to struggle with those kinds of things when it comes to executive function. So joining me today to talk more about this is Danielle Mele Taylor. She's the clinical director of assessment from the Diagnostic Assessment Center at Chesapeake Bay Academy to talk a little bit more about executive function. I think the good news is we we all have that executive assistant we think we need. We just need to get it to work for us because it's in our brain. Absolutely. Good morning, Carrie. Good Thanks morning. And congratulations, too. I stumbled a little <laughs> bit over your name because it's your brand new name. So congratulations you. on your Thank wedding. Thank you so much. Yes. So as you were saying, executive functioning refers to a set of mental or cognitive processes that help us to control, manage, and monitor our own behavior. Okay. So it's really a big set of a bunch of different skills that just help us to stay planned, organized, make decisions, and then reflect back on you know how, how we performed, what we might, might, might want to improve in the future. Mm -hmm. This, um, when you talk about executive function, it makes me think instantly about ADD and ADHD because I know that mm -hmm. that impacts a person's ability to use executive function to be efficient in that way. Absolutely. But is this advice kind of for anyone who feels like they're not on task or anyone maybe who is looking at their child and saying, you know, they're clearly struggling organizing their school projects and things like that? Yeah, it absolutely is. The reality is is that all of us have executive functioning strengths and weaknesses. There are things that we're all really good at mm -hmm. and other things that we could probably use to work on and improve a little bit better. Um, you know, for example, one executive functioning skill is planning. So your ability to project into the future and say, I want to achieve this goal and this is how I'm going to do it. Yeah. Another is organization. So keeping your work area neat, you know, um, things together. And I can tell you myself personally, I'm excellent at planning. Yeah. Not so good at organization. Right, so right. <laughs> it's a matter of finding, you know, your strengths, your areas of need, and then coming up with ways mm -hmm. to help yourself, um, you know, enhance those weaknesses and to mm -hmm. find strategies to work better with them. I know you've got a recommendation, a couple of things that folks can do to try to train and improve their executive function and, and a book that you Absolutely. recommend. Absolutely. Uh, the first thing that you want to do is have a clear picture of your skills. So actually, if you go to our blog this week, we have a self-assessment instrument that's on there, um, cba-va.org backslash blog. You can go and take this quiz and see what are your strengths, what are your needs. You want to start there so you know where to focus your energies. Once you have that figured out, then you can decide, okay, what kind of strategies can I use to, to help myself? So for example, if you have a child that has, or if you're a person that has some working memory issues, you can use strategies like mnemonics, chunking uh, strategies to help you remember things. With kids, you can play games like Monopoly and Clue that mm -hmm. enhance uh, working memory and reasoning, things of that nature. So there are some fun ways to, to do things and help, and there are some ways that are you know more formal strategies you can use. All right, the book that you brought with very quick before we run out of time. Yes, uh, this is an excellent book, Smart But Scattered. Um, it's very helpful. It has lots of real-world um, plans and solutions to help you uh, teach your kids how to do things like control their emotions, um, become more organized, plan for the future, things of that nature, and also does a great job of just explaining the executive functions. Yeah. Um, also, if you're interested in learning more, we're hosting a free workshop on executive functioning on Tuesday, May 22nd at the Central Library in Virginia Beach from 6 to 8 p.m. Um, and people can come there to get more information as well. All right, and as always, you can get more information at the uh, cba-va.org. That's the website. There's a great blog at the website as well, and we'll put the information about that seminar as well and the Diagnostic Center at CBA at our website, 497-6200. Danielle, thank you very much. Thank you so much.